Welcome back, Johnny here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about investing in yourself. Now, I want to go back to the basics of investing for beginners because I have been getting a lot of comments and questions about what people should invest in, and I think the most important thing to invest in is yourself especially if you're not sure what to invest in when starting out. So we're going to go over the top five things that I think you should do to invest in yourself. Stick around to the last one because I think it's going to be the most important. Now, if you like this kind of stuff, I have created a 30-day challenge for myself for July 2022 and that is to make a video every single day just for you and this is video number one so if you like that smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss all these awesome videos for the month of July so investing in yourself now this is gonna be a little shocking to hear but no one is born perfect right you heard it right we're not born with natural talents we're not born a uh, rocket scientist right we're all born with the same amount of intelligence as a one day old a zero second old human being we know nothing we have to develop everything that we do to be successful i mean we have to develop walking we have to develop talking just to get the basics of human nature so with that said perfection is a myth right it's an idea it's an ideal you're never going to be perfect no one's ever going to be perfect and that is okay beethoven thomas edison albert einstein they were some of the top inventors and musicians in the world and they were still not perfect right nobody's perfect and i'm not judging anyone shoot i'm not perfect no one's perfect right now but you can get pretty darn close by doing this every day by simply just prioritizing your daily growth and your personal growth then you can become closer to perfection So I believe one of the most important keys to success is to continuously learn every day and prioritize your daily growth. Now, the first thing you should do to invest in yourself would be to improve your skills. Focus on improving your weaknesses, but also magnifying your strengths. Time management is also very important. At least 10% of your time should be delegated to investing in yourself. Now, at the same time, you can only invest in yourself if you know what your ideals are, which will help you to create awareness of what you should be developing and how you can make it possible to identify those skills or even create new skills. Now think of it this way, for every $1 you invest, you can get back 50 times to 100 times your money. Imagine putting a dollar into yourself and somehow making 50 or 100 bucks next week. I would invest myself a lot more if I knew that was possible and it is now a couple ways that you can improve your skills or develop new skills would be by simply watching YouTube videos like this listening to podcasts joining online classes online seminars online courses there is so much knowledge and information out there that's not only free but accessible to everyone who chooses to learn now, some stuff may cost money, but it also saves you from having to travel to take a class or a course because now you can do it virtually in the comfort of your own home. Now, number two is personal time. You want to make sure that you delegate personal time and you invest that time into yourself. You should take at least 30 minutes a day, two hours a day or two hours a week, whatever it is 
that you're comfortable with, you should delegate that to improving your skills and giving yourself plenty of time to understand yourself, develop yourself, and invest in yourself. Number three is to become creative. Don't just learn, but also create. And I think that's what's so great about investing in yourself is when you begin to create for yourself, you open up your mind and you push yourself to new limits that you didn't think was ever possible. Not only that, it pushes you out of your comfort zone and makes you do things that you may not necessarily would have done in the past. Now these could be simple things like writing short stories, whether they're fiction or nonfiction, playing a musical instrument, or at least learning how or trying to play a new instrument, learning and speaking a new language, and even exploring new cultures around your community or the country that you live in. These can all be great ways to open your creativity your imagination and put some of those thoughts on paper or in a way that expresses who you truly are to yourself. Number four is personal health. Now you need to invest in yourself because you are a business. You are your own business. You are you. And if you are not alive or even healthy, then you will not perform at your best just like a business. So make sure you have a healthy diet. You're continuously every day eating healthy foods that make your physically strong and mentally strong. Exercise at least three times a week. I would recommend doing at least 30 minutes every single day, whether it's walking, swimming, running, biking. I mean, you could do so many things in 30 minutes why not spend a little bit of time exercising so that way you can be physically capable and mentally capable to go through your day with confidence. Now, not only that, you need mental health, right? So when you read or you write or you have these conversations with family and friends, it opens up new ideas, it expands your mind, and it creates a mental workout. So even things like doing crossword puzzles or regular puzzles can be great ways to just think outside of the box and help give your brain a workout. Your brain needs constant activity so that way it will create new neural pathways which in turn helps you stay sharp and active in your mind. Now with all that said, that takes me to number five and that's making a plan. You can't do any of this without having a plan. You can't just get in an airplane and just go, right? Because then you wouldn't really know where you're going. You have to have a destination before you get onto the airplane. You have to know where you're buying that plane ticket. You wanna make a plan. What are my goals? What are some strategies that I can use as a myself to help be successful later. What can I do that's gonna benefit me the most? Investing in myself. Some people may have a creative mind and wanna roll with that and spend more time being creative. Some people may want to have more personal time to do many things that they may not have to do. But at the end of the day, investing in yourself is the most important. And yes, I know we may work nine to five jobs or sometimes even work 60 or 70 or 80 hours a week but you still need to figure out a way to create a little bit of time for yourself to improve on your skills, create new skills, and ultimately stay physically fit, mentally capable, and strong. That way you can be successful as you grow in this journey of investing in yourself and personal development. Now, I know this is an investing for beginners channel, but guys, this stuff can really help you a lot just simply investing in yourself and doing these few things. I believe it can take you a long way and open up new opportunities that you can find to actually invest some of that hard earned money. How will you invest in yourself now? Leave a comment below and tell me exactly how you plan on investing in yourself. My only thing I ask is subscribe to my channel and another great way to unlock your mental capacity and get along and socialize with a lot of people that are interested in the same stuff as you would be to go over and get onto my Facebook 
group investing for beginners we have over 80,000 members and we'd love for you to be a part of it join the conversation and talk and communicate with so many like-minded individuals such as yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you tomorrow in the next one.